Back that ass up to that Juve, huh? Smack it up, flip it, rub it down, do me now. But never trust a big booty and a smile And if it isn't love, baby, cool it now When I seen you on the dance floor, I knew you was wild I said, ooh, you my style, tell your boo, move around I took you down, so went the glory And this is the way I have to end Are this Are you story. the freak of the week? I'm talking Sunday through Sunday From the bar to the car to the sheets Are you the freak of the week? You the star, backseat of my Jeep You the freak of the week Freak, freak, seven days of the week all right, you guys, welcome to another episode of Less Factor Live, where everybody out there is the star of our show. Anyway, we're going to start today with cast member Brandi Kane, who just performed, and she did awesome. So today's question of the day is, does social media really break up relationships or is that just insecurity? You cannot ask me this. <laughs> that is not the answer, nigga. Give one. Give a Brandy answer then. Uh, it depends how you use it. It can, if, if, if your partner puts like way too much weight on it, you know, pictures that you're liking. Because to me, it's just equivalent to like looking at a magazine. I mean, it's just, you don't know these people, you know, if you don't. But, you know, it, it can if you let it. It depends how you use it. If you abuse it, it's just like dope. It's gonna take you out. <laughs> Me and my girlfriend share on Instagram just for the same reason because social media fucks up your relationship. You can have relationships on social media if that's what you do, that's what you do. Is that what you not is that what you don't do? That's not what I do, but <laughs> I tell people I'm not doing it till I'm married. Yeah. I'm like, unless you're married, I'm not putting and it on there. It doesn't really matter. Your relationship, your relationship, social media is your social media. Have you ever had any issues with social media and a partner? I've had issues before, but those are just rumors, but I mean, if your actions can show more than what social media shows, then you won't have anything to worry about. I was with someone who believed that, that if I checked on a Facebook, I had to check her in too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Does social media ruin relationships, or is that just insecurity? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it sounds like you have a story to tell. It just ruins everything. I wish there was no social media. It, it ruins, I mean, everything? It ruins life. Life? What, damn. Does it make anything better? No. These hoes is trifling. And they be doing too much. So you know what? They be posting all these little thought pictures and stuff. And if I see my man looking through some thought pictures, and he ain't looking through some thought pictures with me, we ain't looking at the booties together, it's a problem. I want to see the booty too. Let me see. Because you right. know what? Booties for everybody. Booties is for everybody. So share the booty with me. And we won't have no problem. All right, share the booty and there's no problems on social media. Yeah, I had to actually delete my whole Instagram account. <laughs> delete your whole Instagram? Yep. Why? It's insecure. Oh, damn. So you gave them the password? Yeah. Oh, so you, you were trusting enough to give them the password and they yeah. still deleted your Yep. My ex-girlfriend, she stalked my Instagram page. She broke into it and was responding to people in my DM. <laughs> Did you say she was responding to people? <laughs> yes. People don't love me enough to break into my shit. They'd be like, fuck it, fuck you, and I'm gone. <laughs> Have you ever had any issues with an ex? No. They trust me. <laughs> Do I look like I'm trustworthy? Uh, no, you look like trouble. I am. <laughs> right, and it shows. It's not specifically social media, but I feel like you don't have to put all your business out there. You have to keep your shit private. I don't have any social media. Uh, I could. It could. You don't have any social media? No, I don't even have my phone right now, today. So. Oh, that must be hella free. I don't know what that life is like anymore. Everybody should try to experience it, I think. So maybe yeah, social media could be ruining relationships. But not yours, because you don't have no social media. Not Amber's. All right, not Amber's. All right, thank you, Amber, for joining us today. It only ruins relationships if somebody is insecure. All right. If you care about yourself and you love yourself first, then you can't be mad at nobody else. The thing about social media is like people don't know how to communicate. So then social media just adds another barrier. And if it's just technology. So if you allow something to be that barrier, it'll be the barrier. So it can be an issue or it can't. You get to choose. It depends on it. the shit that you post. People be on it. Okay. And they think they're going the grass is greener on the other side, but it's not. The grass is not greener on the other side, but we all know that. Because if it's greener, it means it's full of shit. The social does ruin relationships. How does social media ruin relationships? Um, because there's too many females out here. Like, 
It's the female fault? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. And I think that's one of the things that has ruined this generation is the options, the distractions are so available to us nowadays, but you have to be a strong individual to not let those distractions get in the way. It's hard to tell sometimes, you know what I mean? Because in this world, you really don't know what's real and what's not. Right, because people be tell. like, them bow wow Instagram lives. It's about that money. It's about that money. That's all I do now. As long as I collect my money, then the rest of it don't matter. I think it's just too much on the internet you can put out there. It's it, it's it's no privacy, so I think I definitely think it does ruin a relationship. Isn't that up to the person? No. If if my boyfriend likes another girl's picture, I'm gonna be mad at that. If she's cuter than me, so she's uglier, then it's an even bigger problem, though, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> does social media ruin relationships, or is that just insecurities? No, it's social media definitely. Because people always go on to scope shit. Have you ever had any issues with social media? Yes. <laughs> She's like, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so how long before you would post a partner on your social media profile? Right away. Right away? Like no waiting? No. Why, why, why wait? Why I'm wait? faithful. Oh, okay. Yeah, go on my social media. I'll give you my password. I'll give you the password, all of that. The last girl gave her her password, her ex deleted her whole page. Oh, yeah, you can't do that with me. Don't do that. So the second question is, how long before you would put a partner or relationship on your on your social media? Uh, never. Just flat out never? Never. What about on your marriage, on your wedding day? Never. <laughs> well, never, never, ever, ever. Ain't gonna be no problem for her. Not never, because trouble, you know what? Trouble doesn't like to have receipts, that's why. Have you ever had any incidents with social media? No, smooth sailing. Yeah. And how long before you put a partner on your social media? The first day if I love her. You know what I'm saying? Damn, you love her on the first day? Love it first sight, Romeo and Juliet. How long before you would put a partner on your social media profiles? What, what is that look that everybody keeps giving us at their questions? Like everybody's like, oh. Uh. I don't have a time. If I'm feeling you, I'm feeling you and I post you. I I post you, let everybody know you yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah. There's no time period, yeah. I mean, everybody's different. I don't, I don't think it's no certain time frame. I mean, if you're comfortable with doing it, just do it. Some people said day one, some people said oh, you need a trial probation period of seven to nine months. I mean, some people, if they got a reputation for acting up, you can't just be throwing them out there. I say about six months, you for me? Six months? Yeah, you gotta date a little six, bit. Seven, eight six months. months you know? Wait a minute, six, seven, eight months. <laughs> six, seven, eight, maybe a year. Maybe a year, you for me, depending on how she act. But if she ain't feel, making you feel secure, you're gonna have to at least wait a little bit. You have to extend her probation. Yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. Yep, yep. All right, second question. When there was no social media, you mean when I had to write letters to people and put it in the mail? Yes, you like you wanted to miss them. You know what I mean? You you wanted to wait for the mail to come to see the letter from your love or a phone call. You know? All right, so just say no to social media. No social media. All right, well, follow me on social media. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and how long before you change like a status or include your partner in social media? Posts. Oh, as soon as you uh, establish a relationship, you're supposed to change it. You're, you're supposed as soon? Yeah. Oh no. As soon as you say okay, we're in a relationship, that's when you change it, right? No, it's like all the comments that come after it on social media. Okay, okay, you can wait, but no longer than like a month or two, right? A month or two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so I'm a little behind because I, I wait until the breakup happened and be like, oh, didn't need to post it. <laughs> Never mind. Um, probably five months or so. <laughs> maybe, maybe three, maybe three months or so. Okay, but, but there's got to be a grace period though, right? Yeah. Because you know, what about, maybe it was wrong. You got to see how things go first, you know? Right. Time, only time can tell. And time will tell me I'm not doing it until I'm married. I'm just saying, if I'm married, then I'll change it. The second question is, how long would you wait before posting a partner on your social media profile? Um, I don't know if there's a time limit, but I would definitely wait a couple months. A couple months? Because see what happens. Oh, wait a minute. You what had happened was <laughs> no, you post you post someone and then what if you guys break up? You're right. I've seen people delete whole Instagram pages. Yeah, I've seen like people I follow. They be in like four or five different relationships in a year. Uh, social media ruins relationships. How? That's a good question. I don't know, but it do. <laughs> it's like I don't know how it ruins. It's just ruined. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Let's Factor Live, where you guys are the stars of our show. You never know what city we might pop up in next. But make sure you're ready for us. Make sure you subscribe and hit that button. See you next time.
Yeah, like that.